from the moment that you know I was given the opportunity to be the head coach, everything had, had changed, everything had shifted in my mind. A lot of it had to do with me knowing you know, the quality of team and, and the number of points that we had coming back and the opportunity that we had to continue the success that, that the program has been having. Just wanted to do everything I could to make sure that we continued and I was and we were able to win a state championship this year because I thought we had a state championship worthy team, you know, from the beginning. I was I expecting to qualify 14 for the state tournament? We qualified 13 last year. We scored 158 points, 58 and a half points last year. Was I expecting to outscore uh, that team last year? No, I mean that wasn't one of the things that I was that I was striving to do. Um, all I wanted to do is take the group of guys that we have and try to make that group of guys the best group that we can make them. We all have the same goal as like to win the team state and I think us pushing so hard for our own individual goals of being state champions just like made the team come together. Team state championship just come a whole lot easier. I mean going into that first day I I think we were all ready. Everyone had the same goal in mind. We wanted to win a state a team state championship. On the going into the second day when it was all locked up Going into the finals, I think that took a lot of pressure off all of the finalists. And that just lets you wrestle your match and takes it off of like, we need to win a state championship too. And it just lets you get like relaxed and wrestle. Emmanuel Skillings has been wrestling, I think he started wrestling in the eighth grade um, with our junior high program. But you're talking about Jackson Cockrell and Bryce Machoda who have grown up in the program. We've been together in this program together for 15 years. So you've watched them grow, grow up and, and, and you've watched them work and you, and you saw the dedication, the commitment that they put into it. And it's just always rewarding uh, when you see that pay off. Probably one of the best feelings in the world that I've like ever like felt because I mean, getting second the past two years, it like made my drive to want to win bigger and I finally did it. So now I can graduate feeling like I finally did it and like I'm happy with that. Satisfaction, I felt really satisfied just because four years coming, I finally got one my senior year. It was weird in the finals because I really didn't feel any pressure on me like I usually do. So I was kind of scared for myself. I was like, I don't, I don't really feel any pressure right now. I feel a little bit too comfortable and too relaxed. So I just went out there and let it fly. Getting on the podium always feels pretty good, looking and seeing your teammates cheer for you. So it felt great getting on the podium. Being a leader, like wanting to set an example for other kids. I feel like the younger kids, so they can come up and like do that for the next generation and just kind of keep passing that down. It's pretty big because the people below us have watched us like come up together until we're seniors and seen how they watch us like how we work in the room every day and what we accomplish so like if we're not in there working hard then they're not going to be in there working hard so like we have to stay on that every single day. So I mean and, and that's what you want to see and, and that's the example that you take and you try to show it to the kids in the youth program now and the kids in the middle school program now is, is this is how you become a championship team, is you get a group of guys together that want to commit and put in the work, and then uh, it gives you a better opportunity. I think what prepares us the most is probably our tough schedule, because some kids, they'll go to the state tournament, and they'll be like undefeated, but it's all Oklahoma kids, so I think our schedule when we go to out of state tournaments, looking for the best competition, really prepares us the most for the state tournament. 2020, obviously, it, it fit into place. Uh, the year was going to be 2020, and everywhere you looked, it was 2020. And I realized we were at 18 state championships as a program. And so it, it was a natural fit to try to relate the 20th state championship with the year. And it, and it, gives, some, it gives the kids something that may stick in their head a little bit, and then we reinforce it over and over again. Take into consideration, we qualified 14 guys for the state tournaments the first time. In the history, that's what they say. People tell us it's the first time in the history of the large school that anybody qualified 14. And so to see all 14 guys go to the state tournament and all 14 guys, I believe, in my heart, you know, put it on the line and fought as hard as they could fight for Broken Arrow and to win that state championship is it, really rewarding, you know, with, without accolades or trophies or anything like that. Anytime you get a group of kids to do that, it's pretty satisfying.